Here's one emerging here, look. Here's a baby bee just coming out of its cell, just in front of my finger. As you can see its antennae sticking out, it's chewing away. Yeah, it's trying to get out, but it needs to do a bit more work first before it can get out of its cocoon. That's so cool. It will emerge into the hive as a fluffy little baby bee, ready to do some of the chores in the hive. One of the first jobs it'll do is cleaning cells. Here it comes out. Look at that. That's so cool. Look, here it comes out of the cell. Come on, little bee. There we go. Keep going. There we go. It's got its legs working for the first time. It's going to pull itself out now. And you'll notice it's a lot whiter than the other bees. They come out kind of furry and white. And that's how you can tell the difference between new bees that have just emerged out of their cells and the current worker bees. See the difference there. Close. Close, keep going. And they emerge into a busy hive just full of thousands of bees all doing their thing. And somehow they know exactly what to do and they get started work. Here we go. All right, try a little bit harder. We're watching the emergence of a bee. It's been 11 days in the larvae stage then about another 10 days or so in the cocoon phase where it went through its metamorphosis and grew its wings, its eyes, its legs and everything it needs to do to be a worker bee collecting pollen and nectar, collecting water to cool the hive and all of the jobs it'll do in its short little life as a worker bee. May only live for a month or so and there it is taking its first steps in the hive. That's the baby bee taking some wobbly first steps and away it goes. It's a beautiful thing.